All right, we're back here in The Witcher 3. We're running our Steam Deck unmodded, meaning we went ahead and plugged our ventilation hole that we cut out in the back. And if you want to know more about that, um, go ahead and check out the original video. I'll post it on uh, the comments below. Also, remember, technically, we are still modded because we have the thermal pads on our v uh, VRMs, MOSFETs. Um, and on our cooler on top of our aluminum heat shield to help dissipate the heat over the top of that. Okay, so we've been running for about almost 15 minutes now. Um, we have about 73 max on the GPU and 78 on the CPU and about 4,800 RPMs on the fan. So we're going to do a quick thermal test on the front real quick. So I just want to do the front. So we're just going to do this front corner here. And we're at 34 is fair. Oh, 34 C. Okay. Um, and then we'll do a thermal test right here. We're going to go right here on this curtain. 12.1. How much is the desk? Damn. Okay. The desk is colder. Let's just use this. We'll use this. I feel like this is more accurate. 12.2. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and hopefully this thing don't fall off the stand. I'm gonna flip it around. We wanna get some thermal test on the back plate here. So we'll use the laser to show us what we're doing. So right here is the where the this is where our um I believe it should be right there. We're gonna use these same spots. This is where our um controller is. So it's 25C. Just call that 25C in the controller. We'll just work our way. 25C. And then this is where our SSD is. God, it's cold. But this room is super cold, so 21. Let's, I'm going for the highest number, 25. 25C. 25C. This has been running for about um, 15 minutes now. And then this is where our VRM MOSFETs are. This is where it gets really high. So you can see the difference right here. From the SSDs not even running that hot, man. It's this these MOSFETs and VRM. Look, we just jumped. This is where they're at right here. I'll try to find the hottest spot right here. You can see where the laser is. I think it's right here where that CPU control. The, this is where the CPU MOSFET is. Okay, well, I'm going to take it down as 42. 42, so hotspot, VRM, and MOS. And then right here, we're, this is our APU, right around here. 36, so pretty warm. See, the outside temp, even though it's saying it's about 70 degrees, outside temp is APU. And then I just want to do real quick, this is where they, the heat pipes are going up here and then through here. And we'll see how hot these are. And these heat pipes are hot. This is exactly what we wanted to see, where the heat, pi heat pipes up here, where this laser is pointing. He pipes right there. That's exactly what we want to see. We want to see that to be the hotter spot because that's where we want to transfer the heat. So it's as hot as the MOSFET. So 41C on the outside isn't bad. Like, but just this is a shell. You know, it's the issue with that is you can't get an accurate temperature reading. 44. That's good. So I'm going to take it down at 44. Cool. All right. So come and cut out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and demod this thing and test it out again. And literally by demod, I'm, I'm just literally talking about pulling this tape off. Now it's demodded. <laughs> I mean, uh, but remodded. <laughs> so definitely fans more audible again. You seen the last videos. You, you saw all of this stuff happen in real time. But um, you can already see the fans have dropped. We haven't even cut out yet. The fans have dropped 800 RPMs. The, the temps on the GPU have already dropped 66. I, I didn't take the frames, which is kind of stupid. I should have. But um, I'll just refer to the video later. I think it was like 20, locked in like 24, 25. We're at steady 26 now. But the scene's different now. So we can't really take that for... Um, take that for what it's worth and sorry about my dog barking he probably hears something outside and all the temps are dropped all right so obviously we all know that this this mod works 
it, we all know it works, okay? So I think the, the main thing is we'll let this run for about 10 minutes and we'll do our thermal test again. All right, temps have finally leveled out, I think, for good. And we're at 60, 65, we'll call it 65 in a GPU. CPU is at 70. Fan speed's at 30, let's call it 35. 35 35 and then the room temperature is 13 so it got slightly cooler within margin from earlier the back oh no we could just do that like this it's not gonna make a difference wish i did like this before but whatever all right we'll start off with the mosfet i mean the controller oh it's a little toastier than it was earlier um, should be, let's go, oh, I went for this one last time, so I got 33 degrees, so it is warmer, we expected that, and then our SSD is a little bit warmer too, it's at 30, let's call it 32, this is where the SSD is, oh, let's go for the hot spot, I want to go for the hot spot, 34C, so 34 clearly warmer than it was before because we're not pulling and it, we knew that because we're not pulling air from here anymore it's not getting actively cooled now we're hoping that the heat sink can transfer more of the heat away from it um oh yeah we forgot to do the screen okay whatever we'll get to that okay this is the main one i'm i'm curious about how bad are these mosfets so i know it's this should be the hot spot should be like right around here 53 53 we'll go with 53 and that pretty sure that's where the cpu uh one is too so we're just going for the hottest spot and remember this is kind of shitty way to do this this is not a great way to do this but you know you gotta do with what you do with what you have so we should see um pretty much the same or maybe there is more heat soak now than it was before 38 this is where the APU is. We're at 38. So we're all slightly higher on the case on everything. We probably should have started off with this mod and then do the other one. But um, whatever. So this heat pipe is cool as hell, though. I'll tell you what. I'm trying to find the hottest spot. I know it goes up and then over here. So let's go with the 37. Okay, 37. Well, all right, so we have our breakdown on our modded, meaning that uh, we blocked our new fan hole, but we still have our thermal pads on our some of our components internally. And then modded means thermal pads and uh, the hole in the back, that hole. Okay, so clearly the biggest improvements are here with the GPUs, um, CPU, and the fan. We are all down. Uh, over 10 degrees in the GPU, almost 10 degrees in the CPU. Um, and then the room temperatures, when we took all these measurements, the same, rough, with the same, 12.8 and 13 is the same. And then the um, controller, this is where it gets interesting. So remember, we have the active cooling on the left right here, and then we have uh, no active cooling, just the thermal, thermal pads. And we can tell that if... We have active cooling back here. If you have active cooling, you're going to pull air from here and then into the fan. We block that, then only air comes through here or majority of the air. Some air probably still goes through there. Not a lot, though. But most of the air is going to come through here. But if we block this, all the air comes through here and then up and around, which is how it was designed. And it was designed to cool these components down. So... The controller has gone up from 25 degrees to 33. I think the max for the controller and the VRM um, is 100 degrees centigrade. So there's a lot of headroom. You know, if the max is 100 degrees and we're hitting, let's say we double this, double this number, that's not a bad place to be. I'm just saying. Um, so these all gone up because we are no longer actively cooling any of these. Um, everything went up. 
The only thing that didn't go up was the hot spot on the cooler. All right. So when we're talking about that hot spot on the cooler is this 44. It was originally 44 unmodded. And we're talking about this hot spot right here. This is where the APU is. And then the heat pipe goes up and then across here. This hot spot, I think this was like the hottest spot right here, um, got cooler. So that was the only thing that got cooler altogether. The screen also got warmer by four degrees. Um, so that was the interesting spot. This hot spot got cooler. Um, but everything else in the back got warmer. All right. So with these findings, sh would I be concerned about these components? When I know very well, if uh, from the Nexus Gamer, Gamer Nexus, I don't even know what their name is, but those guys are pretty cool. So according to Gamer's Nexus, right, especially the, the controller is rated for 100 degrees. This is from the back, though. This is on the heat sink from the back. So that's not an accurate reading, but we can triple that number, right? Let's say it's three times hotter, this controller right here, three times hotter than it is normally. Three times hotter is still within mar safety, uh, safe uh, margins. The one that is the big question is, in fact, the VRM MOSFETs, because we went from 42 to 53, all right? So what does that mean internally? Welcome to my living room. So that, vi that video got derailed, and it went a whole different way, and I didn't really film the transition very well. So I'm gonna tell you what happened, and my takes on what we just talked about. Um, everything got hotter where the fan was supposed to be. Um, everything, every single component got hotter. But the question is, is it, is it too hot? A lot of comments on a lot of the videos I've posted about this is people are worried about the SSD, the MOSFET, and the VRM. Honestly, I don't have the proper um, equipment to uh, measure whether or not it's too hot. All I can go off is exterior, and I could technically take the back plate off and try to do it again, but that kind of defeats the purpose because you're not gonna that back plate's gonna be on there the whole time. So you just can't you just can't take the back plate off and then take your laser gun and 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 shine on it, but. Do I think, the question is, do I think that it's an issue? And honestly, I, I don't think so. I, I honestly don't think I, it's that much of an issue. I think, I think, I think it's not great. Uh, it would like it to be cooler, but I think the tra it's a trade-off. They're just trade-offs, and I'm trading one thing for another. So I'm risking the VRM and heat sinks to, for the fan and this APU to run cooler or you know, so that's, it's a trade-off. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's going after it. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's worth the risk for me. But if it's not worth the risk for you, don't fucking do it. That's it. Just don't do it. Like I said, do this mod at your own risk. But the reason why I derailed before I do the outro is we actually ended up putting a copper heat sink on to the steam deck that's going to help dissipate the heat out of the system and it's going to be next video